Hey, 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 Nintendo Gen 64 and Crystal Fisher here, and uh, we're gonna finish off this Let's Play, but we gotta talk to this uh, Doc, Doc Duck first, oh my god, and do Head Alley before we uh, finish the game off. Yeah, I think this will be the last. <laughs> the last head Alley. This isn't Hindley Street, guys, come on. No, Head, oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, <laughs> we, we're gonna try it's and. It's in your head, love. But maybe it's in mine. Alright, so uh, this is another chase thing, and I. What are we? What is chasing us this time? What is this? This is a boulder full full of a peanut. That's what it looks like to me. Eh? Cause in this terrible quality. Uh, you know, okay, okay, stop referencing the quality. Okay, it's like a, it's like a sarcophagus or something, and uh, yeah, it's very interesting. I don't know, have a clue what it is, and I'm looking for a checkpoint. There we go. I'm hankering for a checkpoint. Now, um, this is the last chase thing I think in the entire game. So, uh, yeah, this is the last See, time. It is. It is. The last time we'll be seeing this Donald Duck chase animation. Uh, unfortunately, hey, you never know the final boss could be a chase. Uh, it probably isn't. That'd be a bit of a, a, a cop out if they made the final boss a chase. Yeah. Cough, cough, Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, all the bosses essentially are some kind of running. You know, well, like, I was like gonna a, say, uh, yeah, it's good to get you on for this, like a whole total game retrospective. Do you think Lilo and Stitch ripped off Donald Duck going quackers? Well, question just quickly: was that um, was that one of your original ideas when you first started Let's Playing this? What what is that? We is it? This is an off the cuffs question that you just thought of literally just then, or no, have you I, been thinking about? I've, 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 been, I've, been, I've been I've been comparing this game to Lilo and Stitch quite a lot during the LP. Oh, of course you have. Yeah, including in that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm yes, just right. I'm just saying. Like, do you think it is? Like, it's very. Do I think? Well, I think they definitely. Um, well, I mean, first and foremost, most of these games were copying or inspired by Ra uh, sorry, not Ratchet and Clank, by Crash Bandicoot. So. You know, just because it has a chase doesn't mean that, you know, it's... But yeah, so I think that, honestly... I no, think I'm, I'm talking more of, about, like, the fact that there's levels that are, are 2D and levels that are 3D, and the fact that you have to go in the levels and collect three of or so of an item or something. Yeah, no, I stuff. definitely think this is... I think Lilo and oh, Stitch is shit. more <laughs> like this game. I, mean, I, mean, I missed uh, the checkpoint. Oh, well. Oh, God. I think that this game is more like Lilo and Stitch than Crash is, yes. Or like all than, than Crash, yes. So I honestly think that the developers of Blitz games, they would have looked at this, they would have looked at this game and go, yeah, yeah, you know, I could, maybe they, they did this kind of like idea with, you know, like it's not like Crash Band. Because I mean, yeah, no one's going to be able to emulate the engine of Crash. You know what I mean? It just isn't possible. That's just yeah, that's right, yeah. It is. So why not try and make something else that's kind of like, like this, so yeah, I do think that they would have seen this and possibly been inspired well, by this game. Well, Disney does own <laughs> the rights to this game, of course. This is a Disney Interactive game. Yes, it is. It is. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised even if like similar bits of code were handed out. Well, the engine, you know? the engine feels very similar. Like the graphics are not so similar, but actually, look at that star there, like rotating in the top corner. Does that look like the ones from like Halikalala Beach or whatever in the uh, stitch? Yeah, it does. It does. Except um, <clears throat> those ones kind of feel a bit more 3D. And also, they're a bit of a darker color, but yeah, that's a bit analyzing. But yeah, that's a good point. No, you know, like, Lilo and Stitch's graphical style, to me, actually stands out as being one of its strengths. It's just a very strange-looking game. Like, I don't know, like, when you do the, your Let's Play of it, uh, eventually, uh, in a couple months or something, yeah. you'll see what I mean, but it's actually a very strange-looking game, where this kind of feels like more like generic PS1 game. But Lilo and Stitch kind of feels odd. If you know what I'm saying, like just the way, like mm. especially its backgrounds, you know, like like that level, you know. Oh yeah, level. yeah, yeah. The Halakala Beach or whatever it's called. Yeah, it's just very odd. All it's right. A picture from the movie. All right, That's we're gonna it. go and uh, do ceremonial room now, Fisher, and hopefully it stops lagging because I think there's gonna be like a dialogue scene or something, and uh, this I think this should be the final boss in the game. It should be unless there's a secret fifth warper. I don't, I don't know. Maybe there is. I see. I, I've I've got no idea about what I'm about to witness. Hopefully the frames go up above. Okay. Oh, it's lagging. Okay, there we go. So this is Murloc, apparently. Okay. All right. So this is the final boss in the game, and I have no idea how to defeat him or what he is. And uh, yeah, what is he? He's just standing there. He's just he is. I, what's going? Okay, how do I? Okay, here we go. All right. <laughs> you just wait for him. <laughs> okay. Uh, instant uh, hit on me. 
Hold on, I'll be what back. Is... I'll be back in a sec. And we're back on the final boss. Who is again? Yes. Who is Murloc? I think his name's Murloc. Anyway, his name may what not. What name? It's like Sherlock and Merlin. It is really, isn't it? Or Warlock and Merlin. Now that's that's analyze. Is that meant to be a statement saying that perhaps this guy has investigative skills that we've never seen before, and maybe in fact he's investigating Donald Duck? Um, I mean, you know, where did the, where did Donald Duck and Scrooge McDuck get their money from? Well, Scrooge, you know, where Scrooge McDuck isn't in this game, so. Okay, well you know. Okay, well I'm done. I'm done. No more analyzing. That's it. I quit. When I'm no longer making any more analysis. This game has no depth. I, I can't make any comments about it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, get get your uh, analyzing skills ready because we're about to kill him in a second. After I uh, do this shit. I thought I just quit, but okay. I'll, 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 I'll come out of retirement. It's all good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We're, okay. We're about to kill him. I want to see what. This, uh, oh, look, it's like a zodiac symbol or something. Hey, isn't this exactly the same pattern he had before? I swear it is. Come on, Dad. Oh, oh, Come look. Come on. You Whoa. can do it. Whoa. This is... This is difficult to the max. Actually, no, it's not. It's really not that difficult. Okay. And he is dead. What, what machine? I have literally no idea what... This machine is that he's talking about. Oh, I hate that Duck. He, he hates Donald Duck. I can't blame him. I'm not too fond of Donald Duck myself. And I think that's it. Look at this. Donald Duck's. What is this? Well, there you go. The worst payoff in video game history. And was that was it really? Yes, apparently the whole time you were just uh, the whole thing was that the villain Murloc made a popcorn, a chocolate popcorn making machine. And just to top off the shit sandwich, we don't even get any music for these credits or anything. Wait, 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 wait. So what happened? It was an all a dream situation or what? No, it's it's it was it's more of a um the villain had no plan whatsoever situation. So he just kidnapped the thingo just to be a bastard, basically. Yeah, essentially, because he had no real master villain plan. He, all he was making was chocolate popcorn. That's it. What the fuck? Yeah, that's it. That's the game for you. Oh, well done. Who developed this shit again? Uh, pff, beats me. All I know is that Zhao Ye Na did the textures. 
and Yang Fu Dong also helped with the changes. Anyway, so, Donald Duck. Let's, let's ask the questions. Let's ask the tough questions. Right. I'll be the interviewer here. I'll be uh, Paxman, and you can be, uh, ch um, what's his name? Um, uh, Tony. I mean, what the fuck? Wait, wait, what's his name again? Uh, Russell Brand. Okay, so tell me what you think of this game, and how is it going to lead to a revolution? I think this game is so bad. No, it's, it's all right. This game's all right. I'm not going to shit on it completely, but, you know, eh. <laughs> Did you need eh? to see this Let's Play? No. Did I need to do this Let's Play? No. This is probably almost to the top of my list of games that I shouldn't have bothered what, Let's ever Play. play? Yeah, well, I'm never going to play it again. But it's like games that I shouldn't have really bothered Let's Playing, if you know what I'm... Well, it was an interesting one. You got some different co-commentators other than me and Ratchet 5 and the AFA Shura 13. So, in that case, it's kind of a bit different, isn't it? Yeah, it's alright. The game isn't bad. It's not good. It's very mediocre. It's so mediocre that, you know, there's nothing really to talk about with it. It's it's not so bad that you can analyze every single thing wrong with it, but it's not good that you have you can praise it either. It's very middle of the road. I would say avoid this game if you can. Um, it's not worth your time playing in this day and age. If you're a child, then I guess, sure, cool, play it. But, I mean, if you're an... 18-year-old teenager like myself, eh, you can skip it. Yeah, I'd give it a skip. Um, but I mean, I mean, most Disney oh, games you are Oh, ca like... you can't skip these credits, by the way. You have to watch oh, them. Oh, you can't? Okay. No, you can't. Oh, uh, Ubi Benoit. Ubisoft made this, this game, by the way. Ubisoft? Yeah, Ubisoft, apparently. The guys that did worked on bloody Rayman did this? Yeah, apparently. Christ. Actually, it's probably a different team. I think it was like Ubisoft Montpellier or something. It was or like Ubisoft Montreal. One of them. Yeah, some other. Yeah, you know. Ray, yeah, Rayman isn't actually uh, American made. Just to let you know. Just to, to, that's a bit random, but yeah, it's true. See, Rayman is not American Ubi made. Ubisoft, right there. Yeah, but see, Ubisoft is one of those companies. It's like it's a developer, but it's also a you know a, a publisher. You know what I mean? That's the that's the thing. Um, so yeah, so basically, yeah, Rayman Two was done by Ubisoft Montpellier, Montpellier, French. Mm -hmm. French. So, I, what, okay, why did I bring up who did Rayman in this LP? I don't, I don't know. That's a bit despicable of me. Sorry. Yeah, D look, don't don't rub the people's face in the fact that they could be watching a better game right now, being let's played. Yeah. Probably yeah, not I'm by sorry. a better let's player, but you know, just a better game. Being <laughs> oh. Like, oh, this is so boring, and there's no way to skip it. I'm just. I'm Isn't pressing. there music? So you know, like. There is no music. Why would any kid, like any kid in their right mind, would have reset by now? But I'm not going to reset. <laughs> you know, <laughs> part four. Ubisoft music and sound. Uh, see, look, they had literally one guy being a music producer, being the producer. See, see, you know what? Where I kind of find it, this game, you know, like in terms of Disney game discussion, like Toy Story Two. There's a lot of things you can discuss with that game. Do you know what I mean? There real, there actually is. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah. And even into it to this similar extent, but not as much. You've got you've got um, Monsters Inc. Scare Island because you can kind of compare where it is in the like. You know, like just just think about like where it's located and how it works and hmm. and weird thing. But this game, it's a bit just because it is so kind of linear. It's just like yeah, well we're going through the level now. We're collecting this, and that's about it. Yeah, but see something like Toy Story Two, Bugs Life. There's just things you can talk about in the game. There just is, you know. But Donald Duck going quackers or Donald Duck quack attack. Um, uh, no, I doesn't okay. have the same. Effect. Oh hey, Corey Burton was a voice actor in this game. And hey, Trey McNally was too. Hey. 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 hey you can look those people up. Yeah, you, you, can. You, you know Corey Burton, he did the but voice. But you know what? It, it's one credit to Ubisoft Montreal who developed this game. Um, did they? They, yes, yes, Montreal. They're, this was only their second game that oh, they ever and, made. And you, you know this right now? This is just. Yep, and. And I'll tell you something else. They also the first game they released was called Tonic Trouble, which I've never heard of, but apparently it was on the Nintendo 64. Guess what their third game was that they made? Rayman. Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. So they went from this to Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. Yes. Now. Oh, never... hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, oh, look, look. This is what we get for 100%ing the game, by the way. Oh, here we go. Cool. Uh. What a reward. Here's our reward. Are you ready for it? 
I'm ready, I'm ready. It's a cowboy Indiana Jones outfit. That's what we get. That's all we get. It's worth it. Yeah. And he it's says worth, nothing to you. It's worth playing this game for two hours. All right, well, thank you for watching this terrible Let's Play, everyone. Thanks for sitting through it. Uh, I'd like to thank all my guest commentators, and I'll see you next time in hopefully a better game. Farewell for now. But not forever. Goodbye. See ya.